I'm going to show you how I'm using chopped strand mat with epoxy resin to cover large, mostly flat areas of my pontoon. I say mostly flat because I'm wrapping around a cylinder, plus curved around the back edge. Epoxy resin does not dissolve the styrene binder used to keep the glass fibers together in the chopped strand mat, so I'm sure fiberglass pros are chuckling, but it seems to work for me. First, I cut the mat to size. I used masking tape to keep it from sliding. Then I pre-coat the bottom surface with epoxy to ensure I get full coverage on the bottom. After that, I mix up and pour on many small batches. The chop strand mat is two ounces of glass fiber per square foot and absorbs a lot of resin. The fiberglass roller is essential to push out air bubbles, compact the grass fibers, and to redistribute the resin. Because I'm working on a slope, I pour the resin on the high side and then use the roller to move it downward, or sometimes back up if it's flowing too quickly to be absorbed into the mat. I'm trying to get the entire mat wet without letting too much resin drop off the bottom edge onto the drop cloths. I've found that I can use a chip brush to aggressively dab the fibers at the edge of the chop strand mat away from the edge to feather the edge and make the transition smoother. To go around curved corners, you need to cut mini tabs then fold them over on top of themselves. Once wet with epoxy, the chop strand mat will go around corners, and once the epoxy gets a little tacky, it will hold the fibers against the next surface and hold the bend. I've even successfully done this procedure around the nose cone and tacked to an upside down surface. I'm using the 206 slow hardener to give myself plenty of working time, as this sheet is 39 inches by 100 inches. But even so, when I do the final rolling at the end, I can hear the fiberglass on the far side being harder against the roller. Of course, the layer isn't really finished until it's sanded. For most of the layer, sanding is just to scuff the epoxy up to give the next layer good adhesion. But if it folds over corners where the layers are doubled up and edges where the chop strand mat ends, I do extra standing to smooth out the transitions. An area this size typically takes one 50 grit sandpaper change, using up two quarters of a full sheet. Then I vacuum up the fiberglass dust to clean the layer and make it ready for the next one.